Hi folks and welcome back to Frugal Radio. Earlier this week I released an episode of the 2020 SDR guide focused on antennas and following that I wanted to share with you a test I performed on a frugal antenna that I had heard about for some time. The Broadsword Antennas D1000 Civil and Military Air Whip. This antenna has been gaining popularity in the UK with handheld scanner users, particularly those who have an interest in monitoring aviation communications. Evidently it receives signals stronger than the standard helical or rubber duck antenna that comes standard with scanners. For many years I've been using the Watson W880E1 as my preferred handheld scanner antenna, as it would pull in signals better than the stock antennas. However, as a result of these tests, the Watson will now be relegated to backup duty. I performed the tests using two methods, firstly with a unit in BCD 325P2 scanner. This is basically a digital version of the popular Uniden BC125 models and is really a great portable scanner. Reception tests were performed both inside and outside and the results were consistently the same. Being a bit of a geek, I wanted to get some figures to show the exact difference in signal to noise ratio between antennas, so additional tests were performed using a Nualec NASDR smart dongle. This was coupled to the trusty SDR Sharp application on a Windows 10 computer. But before we jump into the numbers, let's have a look at the performance on the scanner itself. I carried out the first set of tests on 125.475 using the stock antenna that comes supplied with the Uniden BCD 325P2 and it's the same antenna that comes with the Uniden BC125 series scanners. Here the Watson antenna has been attached and as you can see the scanner receives three bars. That's significantly better than with the stock Uniden antenna. Next I attached the Broadsword D1000 antenna and was pleased with the results. As you can see the Uniden was now reporting five bars of signal strength. That's full strength, the highest signal reported by a Uniden scanner. Next, the scanner was taken outside to see how each of the antennas would perform. Here we see the stock antenna gets four out of five bars. With the strong signal present at this location, the Watson antenna showed a full five bar signal strength. The broadsword was then reattached and showed a pleasing five bar full signal strength. Connecting the antennas to a software defined radio allowed me to get actual figures for the reception. Here we can see the signal to noise ratio of the unit and antenna. Unsurprisingly, the Watson showed a significant improvement in signal to noise ratio over the stock unit and antenna. It works out to be a 6.5 decibel increase in received signal strength. The broadsword added another four more decibels to the Watson's figure, giving a total of more than 11 decibels higher than the original Uden stock antenna. That is a very significant improvement in received signal strength at the radio. It's no wonder the scanners sound much better using the broadsword D1000. Unfortunately, I don't live close to a military airbase, so I was unable to assess or compare the performance on the UHF airband. However, I can say that my testing shows the reception of civil airband to be much better than any other antenna I have used over the years. If you're an aviation enthusiast like me, I would certainly recommend the D1000 to you. And the best news? This is a frugal antenna at a cost of just £12.25, including UK postage. That's at least six quid less than the Watson, which doesn't include postage. For those of you outside the UK, the price converts to around 16 US dollars or 14 euros at the current exchange rate. Shipping costs are payable if the antenna is going outside the UK, but the seller only charges the actual cost of mailing. The seller offers a selection of other antennas as well, which you can see at his Facebook shop and through eBay. 
the links of which are in the description below. All are handmade by Darren, an amateur radio operator who has now retired and has more time to enjoy his hobby. He wants to help people get well-performing antennas at reasonable prices so they don't have to pay more than they need to. That's the kind of attitude we like to see here at Frugal Radio. The D1000 is the only broadsword antenna I have tested. If you have used any of Darren's other antennas, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please use the comment section below to share with the channel viewers which of his aerials you have used and how they have worked for you. If you know someone who is interested in a high performance airband antenna for their scanner, why not send them a link to this video using the share feature? If they are anything like me, they will enjoy hearing about an antenna that performs better than commercial alternatives and is available for even less cost. As for now, I would like to thank you for watching. It's been great having you on the channel today. This is Frugal Radio, saying over and out.